Why we have North Wildwood will shine. I guarantee you that. I want to thank the governor for coming here and supporting us. He is the best, and I never thought I'd be doing this. I have the honor of introducing the straight talking governor of New Jersey, Chris Christie. Thank you, and thank you to all the folks who are here. Appreciate you coming to hear what we've got to say today. And uh, uh, I want to first let you all know uh, that we're going to do everything we can to make sure uh, that you have all the resources down here you need. We've got time to get ready. We're going to talk about how we're going to get ready, and we need to work with all of us together to make sure that we keep everybody as safe as possible. So let me go through the stuff that we're done. As you may know, I want to thank Congressman Lopiano for being here. Congressman, thank you for being here. All the rest of the elected officials. I got to get the right number. I can't find it. Um, the state of emergency was declared this morning in anticipation of Hurricane Sandy. I saw that around 11 o'clock this morning. It's expected to be a severe and potentially devastating storm that will hit New Jersey beginning Sunday night and be in full force through Monday into Tuesday. At this point in time, it will likely make landfall late on Monday evening, bringing with it accumulated rain, high winds, and beach erosion, significant beach erosion. We need to be able to make sure we can mobilize every aspect of the government, state, local, federal, as we're hit with the severe conditions expected that will come from this hurricane. First, uh, we're issuing mandatory evacuations for Sunday at 4 p.m. for the Barrier Islands from Sandy Hook South to Cape May. And in Atlantic City, the casinos are ordered to evacuate by 4 p.m. Sunday. To be able to assist and handle all the New Jerseyans who need to evacuate, don't have a place to stay, uh, Human Services Commissioner Velez has been work, have been working with the counties to finalize their list of designated shelters. This time, 18 of the 21 counties have designated one or more shelters with a capacity for over 12,000 evacuees if necessary.